in this video i'm going to explain how to create this kind of large pipe bin using the solidworks okay uh, this is the 2d drawing for this uh, flange pipe bin i will give link to download this uh, document in my video description okay let's see how to create this uh, flange pipe bin okay go to file uh, new part drawing click ok first of all i am going to create this uh, pipe section to create the pipe section i am going to use swept boss base command in solidworks so we need the path and the profile first of all i am going to draw this uh, pipe axis on a front plane and then i am going to draw the uh, pipe cross section on the top plane so then using the swept boss base command we can create the pipe section okay uh, let's uh, create the pipe uh, axis select the front plane and go to sketch so i'm select the uh, line command draw a vertical line to draw the arc start from this point take this uh, tip away from this uh, point then again take this uh, point coincide with this uh, point now take it away here you can see the arc created okay then again draw the horizontal line so let's uh, dimension this one this is uh, 150 mm here also 150 mm then this arc radius at uh, 260 mm Two hundred sixty millimeter. Okay, click OK. Here you can see this uh, arc and the vertical line already taken as tangent, but uh, this is uh, not tangent, so you have to make it tangent. This uh, arc and the horizontal line should be tangent. Make it tangent. Select the both the line, both uh, arc and the horizontal line. Make it tangent. Okay. Now we are having the fully defined sketch for the path. Okay, exit is sketch. So then I'm going to draw the cross section, the pipe cross section, the outer diameter 290, the inner diameter 210. So I'm going to select the uh, top plane, then go, go to sketch. Okay. So select the circle, the circle dimension, outer circle dimension 290. Then inner circle 210. Ten. Click OK. Exit sketch. Here you can see we are having a profile and the path. So then you can use the swept boss base command. Click on that. Here you can see the sketch two already selected. If not selected, you have to select sketch two as the profile. So then you have to select the path. As the path, we have to select this sketch one. Here you can see the preview okay click ok here you can see the pipe section we created then we are going to draw the uh, flange the flange the square flange the dimension 360 millimeter and uh, this corner radius uh, 20 millimeter okay let's uh, create the flange okay so i'm going to select this face then go to sketch select the center rectangle Click OK. This is a dimension 360. Three hundred and sixty millimeter. Click OK. So then this uh, select the fillet. This uh, corner radius is equal to uh, twenty millimeter. Then select this uh, all of these uh, corners. Okay. Then this uh, pipe hole, draw the pipe hole. Then this uh, dimension, 
equal to 210 okay we have to draw the uh, holes for bolt here these are the dimensions it's a countable hole with the major diameter 60 millimeter and a primary diameter 30 millimeter the countable depth is equal to 10 millimeter okay okay let's create this hole this dimension 60 millimeter Then the primary diameter hole is equal to 30 millimeter. Sorry, 30 millimeter. From this edge to this center dimension is equal uh, 50 millimeter. Click OK. Okay, then uh, to draw the other holes, I am going to use the mirror command. When you are using the mirror command, we need the center axis for mirror. So first of all, I am going to do its uh, vertical and horizontal lines. So vertical line, the midpoint line, okay, vertical line. Okay, so then I am going to do the horizontal line also, horizontal line, click OK. Okay, then I'm going to use the mirror command. First of all, I'm going to mirror about this uh, vertical line. So delete this one. Okay, then uh, select entities to mirror. These are the entities to mirror. Okay, click OK. So then again, I'm going to mirror this uh, four circles around the horizontal axis. Select the mirror command again. So about this horizontal axis so then entities to mirror select these uh, four circles yeah click ok ok now we are having a fully defined sketch to create the pipe uh, flange ok now we are ready to extrude this one click extrude ok uh, first of all reverse the uh, reverse the direction and the flange thickness is equal to 50 millimeter then select this contours ok click ok here you can see the flange created so then this hole should be a countable hole so uh, click on this extrude card select the uh, previous uh, sketch the countable depth is equal to uh, 10 millimeter so first of all give the 10 millimeter so then select this uh, sorry select this areas this is sketch click ok here you can see countable holes then this uh, edge should be a shampoo edge. Shampoo edge. 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter shampoo edge. Then this uh, edge should be a fillet edge. The fillet radius is equal to 10 millimeter. Click OK. Here, this is how we are creating this uh, flange. Okay, to create the flange for the other end, you don't need to draw the sketch again. We can copy the sketch. Okay, let's see how to copy the sketch and create the flange for the other end. Okay, first of all, I'm going to copy the sketch, select this sketch, and uh, right click and go to edit e sketch. Using the mouse, select all of these entities and uh, dimensions and hit Ctrl C to copy all, then exit e sketch. Okay, then uh, select this face and uh, go to sketch. So then hit uh, Ctrl V to copy the all the sketch. So then we need. Uh, so then we have to place this sketch perfectly. So uh, first of all, I'm going to draw the point at at uh, this circle center. Okay. 
so what i am going to do is in here i am going to make this uh, two point uh, coincide so so select this point and uh, with the control sign select this point so make uh, coincide here we can see this uh, circle is not uh, coincided with this point so we have to make it uh, separately so uh, select this point and uh, select this point again with the control sign so make it tangent make it uh, coincide sorry okay uh, now we are having the fully defined sketch to create the uh, pipe flange okay uh, click on this uh, extrude okay uh, first of all I reverse the direction the flange thickness 50 millimeter then select this contours to extrude click ok here you can see the flange created so this hole should be a countable hole so click uh, extrude cut and uh, select this uh, sketch sketch 4 so then the countable depth is equal uh, 10 millimeter then uh, select this uh, area click ok so then this edge should be a chamfer edge select this edge and go to chamfer the dimension 10 millimeter click ok and also this uh, edge should be a fillet edge so select this edge and go to fillet fillet dimension is equal to 10 millimeter click ok ok this is how we are creating this uh, flange uh, pipe pin using the solidworks ok uh, let me change the appearance so I am going to select the chrome steel ok this is the final appearance of the flange uh, pipe bin ok uh, thank you see you next time